Yes. Um, this morning, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, GPS, your Senna, and your phone because uh, I have always uh, had that issue and finally I think I got it figured out. I knew that you had to connect your nav to your Senna so that uh, you can hear your uh, instructions uh, and uh, everything else from the nav and the nav to the phone. But then what mistake I made was I guess I connected the phone to the nav to, oh sorry, the phone to the G, uh, to Senna too. So every time I started it, it used to mess up because the Senna connection to the phone overrode the Senna connection to the GPS and basically it messed everything up. So what I'm gonna do is today, I'm just gonna show you how it all works together, okay? Uh, just uh, feel free to like it if, you, if it was of any interest to you. But I think uh, I've uh, had this issue for some time and I said I might as well, uh, you know, uh, put the solution out there. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so what you see here is I've just turned on the GPS. Now if I go to settings and then um, the Bluetooth connection. So it shows enable Bluetooth connection and uh, it says Wojciech is not connected and Senna is not connected. That's my phone and the Senna. So now if I turn on the Senna on my helmet, so I can just show you right here. So let me just turn that on. So you can hear the Senna saying hello. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna he says connected. So he's going to connect automatically. So now Senna is connected. And for some reason, my phone says failed. So let me just go back. It should automatically connect. So let me just double check here why the phone is not connected. Let me just go back. So what I need to do is let me check my phone connection because typically this should automatically connect. Let me check again. Bluetooth. Let's check this guy. Okay, for some reason he says failed. Okay, let me stop the video and check what's going on on the phone. Okay. Uh, I went and connected the navigator to my phone. And uh, let me just go backwards now. Switch off the center. Okay. Center switched off. It says Bluetooth is connected. Let me switch off the nav. And now let me turn everything back on. Let's see if it works automatically. So I have connected my phone to the GPS. I have not connected my phone to the center and the center to the GPS. So let's see. If I turn on the nav. So let's see what it says with the Bluetooth. He says, we'll check not connected. So let me go to the center and start him up. Okay, center turning on. Okay, it says center connected. Now, for some reason, my phone again failed. Let me check what happened here with the phone. Okay, the phone.
phone I guess I just need to connect it every time maybe that's what it is it doesn't automatically connect okay the center goes off it probably doesn't connect automatically okay so but now you see here so the phone is connected through the GPS and the center is connected to the GPS now if I go back and let me see if I can access my media from the uh, from the GPS so if you hit the media player cool so at least uh, he's picking up only the media from the nav not from my phone so if you want to play the music from your phone you probably need to connect the center directly to the phone or download the music onto your nav and that works with this so now let me try to call my phone and see how that goes let me just now switch this off and then see if it switches on and comes back on automatically without me having to do anything with it Okay, see, the phone comes in and we are all paired up. So that's what it is. So if the center is on, it pairs up automatically with everything else. So, so basically, again, to reiterate, my connection is the GPS to the phone and center to the GPS. So that pretty much connects all three of them seamlessly. And then uh, worst case, if my phone doesn't pair up, I just need to go, go to the phone and connect it back to the nav. But the center and the nav pair up seamlessly when, they, when I turn both of them on. So let's try this one last time. So let's say now I switch off the center and it says Bluetooth device is disconnected. Cool. So now I turn it back on. Let's see if it comes on and connects to my phone too. Okay, so now it's connecting. So now it's connecting. So we are connected. So let's say if I want to call my phone let me see okay now I'm gonna turn them back on let's see if center connects and then center let's see if it connects to the phone it is they turned on the nav. Okay, if I turn on the nav, what I need to do is I just need to switch off the center. And then I turn it back on. So let's see if it picks up on the nav here. Says for some reason Bluetooth is disconnected. So let me take a look at the phone. Uh huh. Because when it locks up for some reason, it disconnects. Is it? Hmm, not sure. So now the phone is connected to the navigator. Now, yep, they're all connected. Now what I'm going to try to do is try to call my phone and see how that works okay let me try to call my phone the good thing is if he because you can answer through the nav that's why I like this feature so let me try to call I'm calling my phone 
Yep. So there it is. So. So that's pretty cool, I thought. So you actually can answer your phone looking at your GPS. I thought that is a very important feature. Instead of fiddling around with your Senna, all you got to do is answer your phone through the GPS. So, you know, I'm not sure if uh, this is of interest to you guys, but this is what I figured. So what you got to do is, all you got to do is connect your GPS to Senna and your phone to the GPS. So just in case one or the other doesn't connect automatically, either you turn it on and turn it off, or just in the phone look for your GPS and just make sure they're connected. And once you do that, they are all seamlessly connected. And I think uh, that really works for me. The only thing maybe you can do is probably play the music from your phone. For that, if you're connected to Senna through the phone, maybe you can do that but i rarely do play music on my uh when i'm riding so and i think uh, if i need any music i probably download it to the gps so i don't need that but if you guys need that then you can connect your phone to the uh, uh senna 2 and that connection is slightly iffy sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and i really don't like the idea of you know toggling with the the uh, jog dial and everything else when I'm riding, you know, it just messes me up. So this really works for me because, you know, worst case, I need to take a phone call and I don't have to touch my center. I can use it. I can just do that using the GPS. So, you know, if you guys like it, I just put a like on this video, but uh, this is my setup and that really works for me. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.